let us actually finally, oh my god, watch the Space Jam stream. I'll edit this one myself and just cut to as if we were doing it perfectly from the get-go. Of all the directions you could take Space Jam, that's not one I, like, maybe, just maybe, there's too much going on here. Yeah, I could kind of see that, you know, now that you mention it, like, here, I'm going to watch this in reverse now, or at least to see the references. I like, like, it's really nice to see Bugs Bunny 3D CG. Realistic? Cool, I'll admit, I really like that. I liked the design of Tails at the end of the Sonic movie. That's cool. Apparently there's like a million things to see in the background. This is not a, a stadium anymore. It just like, it looks like a, just a bunch of people standing outside. Like, who, who am I supposed to, I mean, I can't really recognize the blur. I like senior discount. Who's that? Who's that on the right? You seeing this? Can you? That's all you can. I should I should be better at recognizing this. Like I could zoom I I could zoom in, but I feel like I wouldn't understand this selection of blurs. They look like the same guys on the other side. Maybe maybe they duplicated it. Ten eighty sixty is the only option. Not strong enough. Can you add more options? Really? Oh, I don't know how to. I'll be honest. I will find out how to do that in the future. Ali, Aliab, Aliab. Um, I mean, this is my first stream back. I didn't even know you could. I would have thought it would automatically downgrade stuff. People work out if people can tell me how to do that in the future. That would be very. Robin is in the background. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Maybe I can recognize some of this then. Um, what? Who? Who owns Space Jam right now? Who is making these? Like, what is this cinematic universe? Of obviously they've got Looney Tunes. Is it just Warner Bros? That makes sense. Oh, thanks. A uh, messed up grandma is always fun. Hey, what is going on everywhere? I, I feel like I'm gonna say, is this actually consistent with the 360ness, or is it gonna be a lot of duplications everywhere? A good point. I never thought that. Okay, let's see this. So we've got giant cartoon elephant. Uh, Knights at the Round Table. Man, I don't recognize- they just look- everyone's just caricatures. Oh, hey look! Uh, duh! Freaking Shaggy and Scooby are up there! And Velma and the whole Mystery Gang Inc. Whatever it's called. Uh, Mr. Falcon. The Scoob universe is all coming together. Skeletor? Oh, oh, is that Skeletor? I thought that was Falcon. Excuse me. It could be- it could be- are you sure? I thought it looks more like Falcon. Me. Grandma's bones have been shattered. Oh yes, absolutely. Um, I don't know where she's from. It looks like a, a female uh, Gaston or something. Um, I, I feel like I should have watched this in reverse. Now I don't understand like, the context of the things I should have already seen earlier in the trailer, but oh well. We're going with it. No one else is watching this movie in reverse. It's a robotic version of him or something similar. Okay. Yeah, I will keep welcoming to it. I guess that's just like a symbolic element of, hey, we're in this zone, looking... To, well, maybe that's just because their character designs make them look e. Like, is this a big reveal? Is that when he first teleports through, even though we saw that before? I don't know. That's a standard uh, Michael Jordan moment. Everyone else is just constantly applauding, even when nothing's going on. Makes sense. We've got, okay, King Kong did make it. We've got, is that Megamind? Is that Mr. Markiplier up there? <laughs> Love it, okay. Um, you can see the planets, a uh, classic water tank that they have, in the Water Bros area. Metro Man, is that his name? Yes, you're right, Megamind's the villain. I should have known that. Metro Man, Mr. Markiplier. Um, I hope someone has gone through every single character that exists, because I, I could, I could technically, I guess, but like, how well can you recognize? How well can you recognize this collection of blurs? It's like zooming in on it. A... Oh, it's the same van on the left side of the same elephant. Is the oh, it could just be an inverted clip, I guess. That would make sense. Or because like I was under the impression that that's the other side of the court. To this, am I wrong? Like, uh, where are they? Where was that? 
Um, also, I guess we should have some. Let me have some music. Um, you know, question. Sure. There we go. This with. I'm trying to think this all through, right? Actually, if we're doing a, this should be a thinking. Hold on, I've got some thinking thoughts. Uh. Okay, sure. This is mysterious, right? How does this work out? Where is that elephant that we saw before? Because if you ask me, I thought. Oh no, it's not! That's not the mountains behind them. We are looking at the same thing. Okay, alright. I do just have myself reversed. So the enemy- the- ah. The Looney Tunes are on that side, and then the other side is where both of those events happen, except- So then this should be the mountains. One side is- them with that house, and the other side is- okay, I guess it's just another whole corner. Alright, what do I know? It's looking casino, yes, Luigi's Casino, that is what was playing earlier. Did I call it something else? What game is this music from? It's Mario Party 4. Let's just go for something karma. I'm sure some fans will love it. Also, there's a guy with a giant shield or hat thing. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Okay. So wait, here- there is the shot. Okay. The villain's just doing his own thing in the corner. Okay, I'm gonna remember this. It's the white corner. Alright. Okay. We get through all this. Bugs Bunny looks in pain, or what's that? Come on, Premier Pro, you can stop glitching on me because I'm streaming. Okay. So that's the same corner the guy was in. And yeah, okay, you're right, the corner is there. Okay, fine. We can- I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it this time around. So then... Ugh! He's jumping with the Eiffel Tower on a whole different section, which is the finale. That's the money shot. That's the moment Michael Jordan stretches his arm because he realizes he's in a cartoon. But LeBron James can't do that because he's too photorealistic. I don't know. Uh, Lola Bunny's there. Everyone loves that controversy. Is that another monster behind them? Like, water dude? Okay. And tall girl. Gotcha. Standard. It's quite trippy. What, the, the reversing or the uh, music? The, the concept of Space Jam as a whole? Because I can understand that. I do like, though, how you've got like these uh, beyond panorama like planets in the back. I like this design. It's a bit over the top, and it does. It's a shame it has to be LeBron James doing it, considering he's a bit politically controversial. And like, you know, always nice to know. But oh, was that the same? So it's not an elephant, or was I looking at? Oh no, maybe not, because that's got the Iron Giant. That's not the dinosaur from like the Flintstones. Same kind of design, or it looks it to me. Okay. Well, there us. There is. Uh, I don't know who that is. Old man superhero. <laughs> There's the sneeze. It reminds me of Spongebob. The concept. Bit trippy? Yeah. Absolutely. The ball seems poorly composed. If you talk about that, then yeah, I can kind of see it. I mean, they've made it like glow white, right? Is that what it is? Or maybe he is flinging around a, a, a ball. Because it's definitely like over the top here. Like, it looks like they just put VFX on it, I think. It does look a bit weird. This is a trailer. It will change over time. That's just one of those things, you know? Imagine there being a Pikmin reference amongst the tunes. I'm afraid Nintendo is too happy on their cease and desists to do something like that. So, sorry to ruin your dreams there. Um, let's bring that back. I'm just trying to see what else there is to see. Okay, yeah, cool. The family and the kids are watching. Is Michael Jordan going to make an appearance? He's got to make a cameo appearance, right? That makes sense. Change like Sonic? That was crazy. I don't know what you're talking about there, I apologise. Is he- no, okay, yeah, Waterman is the villain, we got Chicken Guy, Floating, Drifloon over here. Okay, this I might be able to read. Give it another go. What am I at over here? A bunch of blurs again, okay. If you see something you recognise, shout it out. Like, maybe that's a tiny Yogi Bear, or Banjo-Kazooie, but probably Yogi Bear. Um, yeah, the Hanna-Barbera universe. Um, how is anyone supposed to- <laughs> Oh look, I found Bugs Bunny! Magical! Alright. 
Yeah, no, like... <laughs> again, yeah, all right, there's that collection again. In the same white... Oh, hey, it's the mask! Oh, of course. You'd think it'd be, like, assaulting the actual core, because, you know, God of Chaos or whatever's inside him, but all right. Uh, I don't recognize that. Floating man in a boat? I probably should. Anything else going on? Because I'm really... <laughs> I'm bad. Maybe I'm just not into the universe enough to understand what's going on. The mask on the left, yeah. The man in black. Who was that? Or something? Hold on. The floating guy was Don Cheadle? Floating guy? You mean this guy? That's not Don Cheadle. Oh, what your perception of Don Cheadle is. Oh, well, he's behind me. There. <laughs> uh, meet the marketable henchman... Sidekick character? Long necks. Pennywise is near the mask. Really? I don't, I don't see him. Hmm. Oh, men in black, as in, gotcha. Yeah, maybe? That's just a guy in a suit. He's not holding. Uh, uh, why would he hold it out? I don't know. Like, this guy looks like a villain from Batman. I do not see a. Uh, that looks Yogi Bear. Hey. I can't see anywhere. Oh, is that supposed to be Pennywise? Oh, that's something else. Plus, will they really have a horror character in this? That looks like a... Uh, well, my mouse is frozen, so that's fun. This My computer's having a right tantrum. This looks like a uh, Willy Wonka, the Johnny Depp version, but probably not. It's just the blurring. Red balloon near mask, that's it? Really? Oh! Well, there's the red balloon. What, here? Oh! Obscured by Mr. Men in Black. Okay. That looks like a Star Wars character. But... Behind them. Yeah, alright, cool. That's You guys have really good eyes on this. Or maybe you've already watched these kind of analysis things before. I am a little behind because, you know, i got to wait till Wednesday for these things. The Penguin! Yes! I, 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 I thought I knew this. The floating blue guy on the right with Don Cheadle. Beginning of the trailer. Oh. At the beginning of the trailer, well, we're in, we're like at the end, going in reverse. So I guess we'll get there eventually. If you talk about the giant holographic face, then yeah, I recognise that was Don Cheadle. Um, <laughs> wait, so are these guys the good guys? They're not, right? That's the Toon Squad, and he's like the not Toon Squad. I would have thought. Yeah, they got completely different suits. So why is his kid? Is his kid a bad? Is his kid a villain? Like, why is he sing with Water Guy and Metal Guy and like? Oh, Don Cheadle, okay. Are they not the bad guys? Looks like the girl from the Scooby-Doo latest movie, Jumping. I don't know. I was, I'll was. i move on from here. I think I can't... It's a bit too obscure for the rest of me. Besides, we've got all these other shots, you know? There's Birdman right in the center. Acme Co. Rockets. It's the land of a... Uh, Roadrunner. So that's fun. Again, is distracting me. I like like all the Acme references and stuff. As for trying to work out what everything else is going on, uh, no idea. Whoops! Like there's a guy jumping over here. Looks like he's supposed to be a recognizable character, but how are you supposed to do any of this? Avatar Man. Avatar Man, as in blue? Because he, he is blue, like a blue bird. And apparently I just don't know movies if I'm... Well, no, I, I just can't recognize from faint, blurry images precisely what's going on here. Who, Who's this guy? Why has he got, like, a giant gerbil on his head? Oh. Is it going to make more sense over time? No, not really. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Is anyone else recognizable? You guys seen anything? They all look like they belong in a Illumina uh, Illumination movie. I uh, kind of see that. Advanced wears Waldo, absolutely. Yep. Oh yeah. I mean, that's just a bunch of humans, right? I, I guess he brought the human squad over. Who is that? Is that like the the bad guy from Meet the Robinsons, maybe? Obs no, that's that's a uh, that was like not DreamWorks, but like. Uh -oh. Was it like old Sony? No, no. Evil scientists? I like it. Or evil. Yeah. Cyan. There's no. T oh, the T is falling over. Okay, that's fine. You see anything else from this image? Cause... Man, this is. 
Oh, I imagine actual analysis analysi are sweating over. Huh? Trying our best. Too many characters. Bowler hat guy? Who's bowler hat guy? Is that actually his name? Who's. Okay. There's someone up on that building on the right. Oh, that might be a bit. What are we looking at? Who's that? Well, you think maybe that would be Snoopy with the shape of that house, but if I zoom out, do they become more recognizable? <laughs> no. Oob? Oob, yes. Oh, gotcha. Yes, his name is Bullhat Guy. Disney, okay. Typical. Yeah, no matter how much I zoom, I can recognize who they're supposed to be. Obviously, I guess you get better zoom-ins across the whole movie. You can this all. Secretly, Daz designed the scenes and created this video only for people to notice his hard work drawing all the characters. I'm not an artist. I ain't skilled at all. So, uh, sure. The kid was taken by the bad guys. That's why he's sitting with them. Oh, of course. And Don Cheadle's a bad guy. Okay. All right. Oh, I can... Okay. Yeah, I get it. So it's a hostage situation. All right. I, I could have read that more if I actually paid attention to the thing, but I just didn't. I feel bad for the guy who has to do the reflections of all of this. That seems like an absolute nightmare if it's not... Well, I, I mean, I guess I could just computer generate it these days, but even still. Okay, Lola, why have they got silver basket? Oh well. Night time and they're probably training, sure, sure. What is just a hostage situation? I imagine because it's only the first trailer, not too much else to see on that front, but I'm going to look at the visuals a bunch. I'll be drilling on this whole stream for far too long. Gets in an argument with his family. Oh, I was like, who's dropping down? Obviously, they're going up. It's uh, Mr. Robot Guy. Okay. Man, these guys are dedicated. If they're staying all night, are you kidding me? If they just revealed the whole plot point and all the twists in this trailer, right? I, like, um, I wouldn't be surprised. There's a King Kong, lovely. The scarecrow looking guy was on the right before the screen chopped away. Flintstones dinosaur. Who? Oh, there's a giant guy on the left. Who's he? Oh, it's that guy again. I don't remember who he is. Okay. Uh, Metro Man's watching. What's Metro Man from? I don't know. Let's go for something a bit. <sighs> As we go through. Uh, what's a good fitting thing? Uh, we'll go with that one. Sure. That's way too sad. Let's go with Snowden, that's less sad. Okay. Just, I want to try. I want to try my best to see what I can recognize. <gasps> Sylvester! Found him. The man is the hero from Megamind, absolutely. Yep. Did I make that wrong? Oops. Um, where is Megamind? He's probably there, right? It would make sense. Gotta get that bit somewhere. Love how this is just a big crossover, not only with Disney uh, Looney Tunes characters. Yeah, it is kind of fun. I imagine as a kid, it's quite mind blowing. I'm sure loads of people are like, why have they done this? But I mean, that's kind of a phase anyway. MCU's, you know, spamming their, uh, you know, their IPs, companies, not MCU's. There we go. Um, cool. Big fan of this guy. I like him a lot. It's cool. Those two look too similar, but I mean, hey, <laughs> archaic character designs. Fireman? Waterman? Why? Okay. I'm curious to know what their backstory is. They're not weak aliens that get super pumped up. They're like just actual monster looking people, but not called monsters. Monstars. Cool. Okay. Big old worm. Big old shark. What exactly are they from? I feel like there's several cartoons that have dabbled in that kind of thing. What else are we looking at? Oh yeah, that's a really short song. So I'm gonna go through my entire sound library at this point. This is a really fitting. It feels quite quite upbeat and nice. Who's this? I really maybe I just haven't watched cartoons in a long. Look very carefully. You can see LeBron James. Where? Not see that. <laughs> Hello, Crash Guy. The devil hiding in the crowd. Oh yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Ugly Dolls is connected to Satanism. I can't wait to see how this is somehow. Um, Bob the Builders made it. That's always fun. It's just like random uh, mafia guys underwear I am down here. 
Okay. I, uh, it kind of looks like it is half characters and half just like people in costumes. Like, bust about too. I'm really curious to see how much they're going to drag into this. Because, you know, like, um, Wreck It Ralph breaks the internet. Really dug into that, like, Disney fight element. I don't want to zoom into this. <laughs> Let's skip this bit, maybe. Yeah, that's my kind of expression, too. You, you got it right. Um, yeah, so. Alright, cool. Yep, shark's back. While it was. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands, of course. All right. Okay, we're gonna do one final scope because I think this is like you know the first shot in the hole. There's a big floating blue man apparently. That's Don Cheadle, or do you mean? But he was on the he was on the court earlier. I don't know. Did someone actually do like the continuity of where everything is? I really hope so. I mean, you can see the mask again. You can see Mr. Elephant. You can see this guy. Inspector Gadget. I missed Joker. Last shot. Let me double check then. I have seen a few memes on the Joker. Uh, but I don't remember. Isn't it like multiple iterations of Joker? How on earth do people find this, man? I mean, I guess they're going frame by frame like I do. But like, I don't, I don't see them right now. Okay, let's just go for something quieter. Where? Where's Joker? There? That would make sense, right? Oh, there. Found him. But aren't there multiple like renditions of him or something going on? And then there's Robin. Where's Batman? Where is Batman? I will never know. Multiple Jokers exist? Of course. Of course they do. So this is a... Yeah, a Warner Bros. DC universe, of course. And I shouldn't know. I wonder who else they're gonna cram in here, you know? Right, back to this again. One final scope. I'm spending way longer on this trailer than I intended to. I'm saying there's just a massive crowd to analyze every single time. There's the mystery gang again. Every trailer's not going to be this long. I wanted to look around and see what there was. Me and my insult. What would the follow account mean above the court? I guess how many people are watching? Like, but they've made it social media-ified. I have no idea what that says. Man, I'm bad at this. <laughs> I think it's also because it's my first time, I'm actually like, ooh, gotta loop in on everything. That looks like the Jetsons. The flying Jetsons car. Everything else is just unrecognizable. I guess makes sense. It's a teaser, it's all blurred, so you can't probably tell what it is. It's all scoped out, so you can't zoom in on all the little things. Don Cheadle's a bad guy. There's, wow, there's Pennywise up front and center, hey? Mr. Men in Black. Not recognize the red. There's a dude. Let me. There's a dude who's just got like a hand puppet sticking out. Is that a character? Who's that gonna be? Interesting. Creepy face in the water? Excuse me? There's water somewhere? You like over there? Okay. Cool. Yeah, hi, Kong. The castle behind you. All right, cool, cool. We basically lost the audio for this trailer, but who needs it? What, what are they doing? They just, is this everyone coming in to watch on the audience? Like you got the abominable snowman or something as we like the Grinch is gonna show up or something. No, that's whatever. Yeah, okay. Everyone coming together. The Flintstones, Captain Caveman, Yogi Bear. Uh, I don't know who that is in the background. There's the Jetsons. Who's that flipping around? Line, uh, I don't recognize him. Might be one of the, the superpower girl spy gang that I heard about. Or in Scoob. Did I check for Scoob? Did they Scoob? Ah, it doesn't matter. Yep, cool. Of course, a dragon. The Iron Giant. I don't know who that... That looks like, um... Like the other of the twins in Rugrats. Don't know why my mind jumped there, but it is. It's the Yeti from Smallfoot. Ah. Didn't see it. Um, evil scientists, of course, are there boating on through. This is kind of interesting. Like, it makes sense as a concept. Everyone comes together. But I never thought there was a Warner Bros. cinematic universe other than the DC attempt at one, you know? And then anything else? A whole bunch of destruction? The mystery machine? Wow, I really just completely missed it the first time, didn't I? So, ah, that's the Iron Giant. Okay, that makes sense. Who's that on the 
can't see it. Probably won't be able to even if he, like, oh no, Jesus with the capes here as well. That's good. All right. So then, oh. But then when they're in 2D world, they become photorealistic for some reason. Just to make more drama. Ah, and this was all 2D? No, no, it just randomly exploded now. Okay. I don't know. It, it looks more cartoony in the foreground, but then it doesn't look like anything's changing. Still don't know why the Eiffel Tower was in the middle of all this, but okay. Looks similar to the Sonic movie. The text. All right. Fine. Was that one of the cavemen wacky races? Oh, really? Oh, I love them. Uh, well, that one looks like the, uh, if you're talking about Captain Caveman that was flying in, they're kind of the same design merging through. Ah, okay, there's the whole team that they collect. It's basically the same as Space Jam 1, except this guy's new. And beneath me is this guy. He was not in the original Space Jam, as far as I'm aware. Nothing else. Why did you, like... Like, I need to get a, a gang of people. Superman. Well, they said Gandhi. I'm like, Gandhi's not going to help you with your basketballs. But Gandalf, yeah, sure. Okay. I bet they all make an appearance as well, obviously, yeah, I know two out of four. Metro Man can make a replacement for Superman, right? Sure. Um, I do like this, like, Planetscape. Oop, Planet, Planetscape. That's fun. He can automatically have his cartoon effects. He's doing better, he's an hour and a half ahead of Michael Jordan. Nintendo hates Paris and now... What? Dragon? No idea. Jesus canon to the Warner Bros. universe? You never know, man. Never know. I do like this, though. But oh, I just like it. It's not that first one, really. Um, Alright, and then I think that's... Oh, Shelly, actually! There's the other alternatives he could have ended up was Mars, Emerald City. It's connected to the... I just know. Sonic 2. Thun Thundera? Red Rock? Saturn? Westeros? Of course. Yep, Game of Thrones. Hogwarts, Neptune, Neptune, Orbit City. Okay, he looks kind of cringy. I got a uh, like honestly, a bit too cringy. But fine, sure, whatever. He looks too old to be wearing that clothing for that character, you know. But hey, he's a funny guy, so maybe it'll work. Space Jam Two: The Quest for More Money. Oh sure, I kind of like it. Kind of don't. Uh, I'm well, well conflicted, you know. Ah, there's the floating blue man you were talking about. Don Cheadle. Ow. Then off they go. Is that supposed to be a, uh, an Alice, uh, not Alice. Wizard of Oz reference, isn't it? Yep. All sepia tone, the twister. He's not in Kansas anymore. He's being teleported away. How cinematic. There's Westeros. Which I'm sure anyone could have seen even in real time, but I'm a, I'm a slow one. Sucked through the quantum realm and then into a teleporting orb thing into the servers that is the internet or, I don't know how very odd and of an idea but okay was there anything I missed that people really wanted to dig into I imagine there'll be a second trailer that will reveal more intricate details this is obviously just a teaser that was interesting that was a weird one I must admit hello g-dog Every movie said in real life, there's Jesus in its Sure. Sure, everyone wants to keep their Jesus symmetry for every single movie that exists. Warner Brothers is producing the Minecraft movie, so maybe Minecraft has a part of this? Ooh. See ya. Um, are they making a Fortnite movie? One day. Biggest, bigger crossover than Marvel Infinity War? I mean, yeah, probably, but... Does it really count when you just sort of own anything and you're they're not actually an intertwined story, just characters in the background? Anyway, Rick, thank you for the follow. Oh no, no. You already sent those five bits. I thought you sent another five bits. Never mind. Okay. Moving on then. Let us pause this music. Don't know how to make it one. That was a lot of talking on just one one trailer. I don't even know how I'm gonna edit that together. I I just kinda I just kinda soaked it in because it's my first time. This is also going to be my first time tr uh, talk, reacting to it. Oh well, we'll make it work. We're now going on to the Black Widow trailer. It came out recently. I saw the original. 
like years ago feels like what's this new one going to be about wow Pure black widow what is there to learn it's been so long what are you up to It's nice to see the real Captain America. I made mistakes choosing between what the world wants you to be. And who you are. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. excuse me. That her? Look, who's that? You can kind of tell that they're just being like, oh, we need to get some hype out of this, but we kind of shown everything already. That's supposed to be a, a young David Harbour. The gun is the galaxy opening. Okay. This is like the longest mystery is finding out who the skull guy is. Oh, oh, oh. Sure. Thank you, computer. Always doing your best. Alright, uh, what was it? Is this the third trailer now? It just says new trailer, that's the title. That is that July one put in stone? Yeah, they made it, they, they caved and made it a Disney Plus in the end, didn't they? That's how it is. Have they made it? I feel like there isn't much to even see from that. I guess I could, I could get up the old trailer and like try and connect the scene. With all the later stuff, but like, I don't understand who this kid is for a start. Probably could work out. Phase 4 is lacking. Ah, to be fair, you know, it's kind of been a pandemic going on. Some, like, the breaks, you know. WandaVision? Really good. I haven't really gotten into Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It was a 50 minute long episode, man. I don't have time. Whatever. Um, everything else, though, like, kind of repeats. What can you do? You know, this film so it's like, when was... Is this supposed to come out like a year ago? I remember it got delayed till like October, November times when I was expecting it. And then it moved forwards another, what, eight months after being delayed already? That's crazy. So like this scene, re sister or whatever is what we've seen before. I don't know what it is. Honestly, I have no idea. And like, wow, that is a young David Harbour. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's supposed to be her. I mean, she does dye her hair over the years. That could just be weird marketing. He's just enjoying his own muscles. Fair enough. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, that's two of them as kids. Sure, sure, sure. This just looks like Guardians of the Galaxy 1, right? This looks like where, um, Will gets taken away, and how where, um, T'Challa does in the, uh, other one. Future one. This is them talking to the family before they all kill each other. How wholesome. Lovely. Actually, it looks a lot more emotional. Not real, okay. Yeah, okay. So they, oh, okay, so it's not Guardians of the Galaxy, it's just one gets taken away as like a... And they both end up pretty skilled. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Even though they have flying alien ships, so is the... Feel like a... I don't think too much about this. May 4th, 2020 was the original, okay. So June, July, we are 14 months... I had to actually probably say that, excuse me. 14 months delayed this film. Marketing kind of gets kind of tough, you know? Wow, it's the training routines. The car, yeah. They don't want to reveal all their fight scenes. They don't want to reveal their twists. Fighting the sister when they first meet. And, ah, good old friends again or something. Sure, what is this about? Is that like pointing? Is that where uh, Panda is? Like, and they've recognized... The just some something going on. The world is red now. Demons. No Black Widow connection. Or their symbolism. Color palettes. 
Okay, Skull Guy's not the sister like I thought it was. I have no idea who. Transition. Dive through the world. Again, acting as family, saving each other. So, do they actually get along? Because they don't appear in future things. So I assume they, or maybe they just die as friends is the classic sacrifice story. Uh, I'm, I think part of the reason I'm so like, I'm not connected with here. Order it on Disney Plus. Ah, additional fee required, of course. Something about it does not grip me. Uh, maybe it's because I've been waiting for this for so long. Maybe it's because it's Black Widow and I'm not that attached. Maybe it's because I've, yeah, seen all these footage already that it's like, doesn't click with me. Oh, okay, I was worried that my TV had turned off. I like it. Even looking at those scenes, even if I mash it with the trailer, or uh, it's just like, eh, going through the motions, you know, has a troubled future, troubled past, he meets with her family, and they get in a fight, then they chat, then there's the skull guy, it's gonna be revealed to be the dad instead, or someone who's close to the person, unite and sacrifice each other, or they go and again the betrayal, and they move on, and then she ends up dead in the future. Uh... But I mean, I'm gonna watch it. I love supporting the Marvel Cinematic Universe because I'm a bit of a normie, so I will do. You know, um, I've now I think I've seen every Marvel thing, apart from I haven't seen the two shows that are non-canon. I haven't seen the latest Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode. Only past I've only gotten to episode because episode. Everything else I've seen, I caught up on Captain Marvel and Doctor Strange and Spider-Man: Homecoming. The last three films I didn't see. But everything like this. I'll fork out money for, but I'm not invested. Oh, hello, Index. That's grand. They don't want to reveal all the fight scenes and twists, which makes sense. They only want to spoil the most important ones. Yeah, sure. But yeah, obviously, they don't want to spoil much. It's been... They've probably been marketing this for two years. There's not much more they can do. It's just kind of being like, oh, a reminder, it's coming out now. Frost. So, uh, I'm happy to move on, honestly. So... Let's go to one I am actually excited for quite a bit. I'm very late to this trailer. I've already seen it this time. We're actually in new ter oh, old territory in a sense, but new... We're into new things now that are also old. Pixar. I'm a big fan of Pixar. Pixar is coming out with a new film. A trailer came out like months ago. It's just got a lot in it. Let's go through it, shall we? And I might actually try and peek on chronologically. This. It is a black screen. Also known as Luca. You guys seen this? This is oh, wow! It looks um, the style didn't didn't uh get me straight away. They have massive feet. That looks Popeye-ish or something. Huh. I've got it on the brain too much. It also, it's definitely got the Coco vibe, which is my favourite Pixar film, so I'm very like, oh, Inside Out, eh. Toy Story Grand, and Incredibles is my second favourite Pixar film. I like the vibe, I think. Why are you always... Oh, but there's just one thing. Uh -oh. uh, I also quite like the concept. What if thoughts had thoughts? What if toys had thoughts? No one can find out. What if mermaids had thoughts? Of course. And like, it's basically H2O just add water. You ever seen that? You ever seen that before? Hold on. I don't know if this is a uh, common knowledge. I'm gonna get this up real quick. You know H2O just add water? It's basically the same concept, except uh, it's a uh, it was a young like teenage story of three girls, not two boys this time. Every time they touch- uh, what, where does he go? Near misses. Oh wow, crazy. Every time they touch water- why am I getting invested in this? I don't know. Every time they touch water though, they become mermaids. High jinx come through. Do people know this? You loved H2O, just had water? Absolutely. And they also came with water powers. I don't know if uh, the boys in the, in the Pixar film do, but- oh my god, they're gonna catch them on the satellite. Also, it's painfully Australian. One of the characters is called Cleo, 
I can't do an Australian accent. But like, also they get like, they're powered by like the moon. Or like they stand, oh, they, st they stood in a water thing once that gave them powers when they got a full moon. When they see the full moon, they go crazy like werewolves and don't lose their inhibitions. One can make like, uh, hot boiling water, I think. One makes ice. One makes like sludge or something. This is a really um, bad <laughs> example. Wow, was the quality that low? I never realized. God, sprinklers! You know, and then... Oh, okay, this is... Yeah, look, there you go. There was an ex there was an example. <laughs> Ice. Crazy. <laughs> it was very big in Europe, what, this show? Oh, I hope so. It deserves more. I think. I don't know. I haven't seen it in Europe. But either way, that's the vibes I'm getting from this. There's more to the trailer, so we'll get into this. The fact that it's a bit more gruesome and interconnected with mermaidism seems good. I'm curious to see, because obviously the thing nowadays with Pixar is to make things um, emotional, you know? That is kind of their vibe. I That's why I, I like Pixar films more for it, as much as it is kind of a generic thing to do. Sorry, I'm trying to see if I can uh, cut up and I don't know if this will give it a go. Um, but um, I don't see the emotional appeal. I don't, I, I don't see this being a big sad cry thing. There's no connections to mums. It's just the idea, you know, there's no family element other than just two friends trying to get along in this world. Fine. Um, I'm curious to see how it looms out. Because it also seems like the plot so far of just like a short film. Obviously, just a teaser. There's plenty of room for more stuff. But I like that. That's the way I see it. Wow. It, it just cut up the entire... Tr wow, okay. I didn't expect this to go so quickly. I moved to the full screen. So I just made the Premiere Pro do a like, process. It is now manually chopped up every single shot. And I can just scroll through them that quickly. That's fantastic, and it's pretty accurate as well. It's this uh, scene detection, I think. Oh my god, that's fan that's amazing. Okay, let's do some rearranging. I wanna, I wanna get in. This is the the part I like the most. First things first. This is the logo we don't need. Right, let's let's try and see if we can piece this together. Generic landscape. That's fine. I'll leave it be. Uh, also, actually, okay. All right. Yep, yep, yep. We're getting. Oh, okay, so remember seeing H H2O a lot when you visited your family in Belgium? Yes, yay. Yeah. Even though it's an Australian show, it really wants to uh, cross the borders. Fair enough. Ocean. I think it's a bit the same as Onward, a setting that makes no sense, yet it wasn't. Me. Fair enough. Onward did not connect with me in that way, so I'll be curious how this does. Because I like the idea of this more. Is this, um, is this Earth? Could be another not Earth situation. I wonder if Elena is an important character that will make us sad. Who knows? Reese vibes? I can see that. Or like a. So Greenland? I, I mean, I associate Greece with like the white architecture. Who knows? J Dog, have you just discovered that there's two of me? Or, are you, or do you mean over there? Or is my voice echoing? It was Italian. I see that too. Alright, so. The trailer opens up, and it's them, I assume, first discovering the town. Basically, you know, we can do whatever we want. They, I guess they, they just come, it's a coming of age story. Uh, we can go they are not a fan of, oh, f I've always said not a fan of flowers. Like, I was looking at the negative space too much. No, not a fan of footballs. Understandable, I guess. Person's looking a little <laughs> suspicious, but okay. Uh, actually, I don't, what is, uh, what is this? We'll see, it's enter, but like. I don't know. I'm not a very cultured dude. Very British. I haven't left my house in a year. You think I've left the country in three? No. I left the country in 2018. So yeah, it's been three years that I ever left out and I've only done it once. So. It's seen based on Corfu. Ah. I went to Corfu on holiday once. Without me. Thirsty at the time. We just gotta stick together. Okay. They gotta stick together. Okay, so. First things first. This whole collection here. The whole collection is them first coming to the island. They're, they're from the sea, they're from outwards. Do what they do. Actually, this is someone we don't. Okay, yeah, this is probably where the crux of the plot comes in, right? Meet a local that they like. 
And she shows them the land, or she shows one of them the land. What's the other guy doing? Never know. Okay, this is its own separate. I'm gonna put them on like layers of them. Eat, or they plan something in the day. Find out their secret. Whole thing. It's basically Monsters Inc. This is gonna be the best summer ever. They explore out to the night. It's my build will be in chronological order, you know. Well, that's all we get to see, which is fair enough. They're gonna see a. The full moon doesn't make them go crazy, so that's that's good. That's presumably, I mean, actually, we don't see the other one, so but no, it should be fine. It reminds me of a uh, reminds me of an Overwatch map. Hello, Broken Dylan. Indeed, uh, Atomic Catastrophe is right. This Pixar, which it doesn't look the style of, does it? But I mean, Pixar has a fair, but like their variety. Your the art style has already grown on me. I can see that. Yeah, like I, I, I am. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but like, since it's come along, it has marinated with What did they say? They didn't? Okay, that, okay, alright. So this scene looks kind of like they're having a serious chat, as much as he's kind of you know, talking quite nicely. It looks like it's kind of sunset. Oh, they're from a, they're looking from a distance. So this could be like they've been slightly exiled, or they're going back to their more homely town to have a more serious conversation about it, right? But the dude seems quite light-hearted, but I could see it being an emotional crux place in the future. I'm just looking for emotion in the Hello, Mario Mario! Hey, welcome back! Looking fabulous with those glorious locks, thank you very much. For the sub as well. 31 month streak. I was gone for three, three months, essentially. You're one of two subscribers who stick around, so thank you for that. Uh, might be. Yes, you are for 27 months. Thank you. With you. Mwah. Top fans. Pixar is not an easy word to spell today. Fair enough. I can. Yeah, I, I've, I've said it too many. I've written it too many times in the scripts to have that problem personally. Okay. Next big moment is. Oh. Do I have a CQC? That like some big artifact. It was. Alright. So they are building. You've been hammering on. Can you stop artifacting them? Do this. Like they're <laughs> the artifact. What do we see? What are they? Are they hitting stone into something, or are they stick the wood into what? I don't know what I'm looking at, but they're building. Okay. That on into. All right. Moving on. It's nighttime with <gasps> the girl. Fantastic. Connects over to. Oh. Oh, I can put it, I can do it. Uh, hello. I'm gonna change the light. Sorry. Give me a moment. This will make more sense later, I swear. Okay. Cool. The boys are then out on a whole different coast, which is not the same coast, of the main island. That's it from a far away. Like, is it, uh, Um, big rocks, jagged straight edges. Whereas this is much more broken down, I right? whole different location. Kind of more connected to this kind of environment. In fact, yeah, same kind of wall. There is no wall. What am I? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, but it's its own separate thing. Hello, JJ the Tutor. Thank you for saying welcome back. Every Wednesday. Maybe they try to make something for That makes sense. I can see that. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, like trying to win them over. But that would just, yeah. Obviously still with the, um, the idea that they are... Not Monome, but totally normal dudes. Hello. Orange. Lovely sunset scene. Couple, couple dudes hanging out, enjoying the sunset. All about friendship. Can't wait for them to fall apart for the end of the second act. See the whole world together. On another day, they go to okay, they go to enjoy the view. This also looks like. Hold on. Again, not part of the main town. I think. Although actually, there is um. So obviously there's green behind the main island, but there is stonework leading up to what looks like it's going to be a castle. Is there a castle earlier here? This is basically what I go through when I'm making an actual like trailer analysis in my own time. Just like, ooh, what is that? So uh, you're getting an inside view. I'm going to be a lot of pausing going back. So this is, there is like this tiny looking like building there, but I don't think, I feel it might be a separate island. 
Um, like, oh, although it could have just ran down the hills, like it could be that. Could be this. It, it could really be. Get a better view of any other tower. Yep, there we go. All right, maybe it's that then. It's connected to that on the side. They've they've explored the place. Now they want to see the view the other way around. Maybe it's even there that they do end up at the in the other way at a different section. I mean, if the no, the moon could be anywhere. Oh, I want to go out. Making a boat, maybe. Why would they need a boat for the townspeople? I mean, like, I guess possibly, but I mean, they don't need it for themselves because they can swim. Over without the townspeople knowing they're mermen. I love that scenery so much. Grassy coast, so beautiful. I can, I agree to the to a certain degree. I am a, I'm a countryside kid. Kind of sick of seeing the countryside personally. I really like, I really like cityscapes and city views. But I do really like the coast because it's better air for my eczema and my asthma. But anyway, okay. See the whole world together. So they go and enjoy. Uh, you know, actually, that might not be the castle because, like. Unless the island is, like, the town is over this side, like, on the other end. Could be, based on... I'm really going to go by the direction of the sun. Yeah, we go, okay, hold on. Where's the sun? The sun is... Over he here? Over here. But that, so then, uh, but the things I need, there's no, there's no downward. And unless the, t the tower's there, that's not going to work. No. So... But there, it's over there. Yeah, like they're not they're not on the other side of a hill. It's not that castle. But the direction of the sun could just be that like sunrise and sunset. I'm thinking about this. I don't even think. The scenery does look fantastic though. Pixar animation just gets better and better, doesn't it? My goodness. Big old lake in the middle, which is uh, the same kind of watery land that we saw here, although that's more connected. I like it anyway. Very pretty. I'll stop rattling on with this. Maybe we'll see a scene that explains it later. They are enjoying the caves and the caverns as a duo. Maybe this is where they even first like discover the town. They're just enjoying the world and they're like, whoa, look at that off in the distance. We need to go there, at least there one day. Okay, so that's that section. With your boy. Oh, cool. So then, all right, another nighttime scene. Uh, traveling along the. Okay. So maybe what this is is they start off at her house where she's a fan of astrology and the universe. He, you know, goes into the telescope to see the stars, and then it's like, I can do you one better than that. Take you across to the rooftops with that book, the same universe book, to see stars yourself. How good the moon is in this lighting. I'll show it to you. Like, let's see the bigger expanse of the world. You know? She wants to see the world. Maybe they can show her the world. Sounds, sounds a lot more demonic than I meant, but you get what I mean, you know? A book while looking through the telecoat says Universo. Uh, I, uh, yes, not necessarily the moon. Luna is, I guess, moon, but that says Le Universe with an apostrophe. So I guess that's, that's, I thought that's French, as in the universe. Oh. Where, you know, with the the in French, at least, that you drop the E and put in an apostrophe. But I don't think this is a, a French film, but maybe another universe would use that the cutoff. My god, are you a Leo? Excuse me? I am not a Leo. Don't you come in here calling me a Leo. A Daryl. No Leonardo here. Leonard. They do got some big eyes. Oh, yes, that is the Pixar way. That's, well, that's the animation way. Give them less bones. Your blindness, don't worry. Hey, it gave me a chance to look cool. Like I know what I'm talking about. I don't even remember the second half of this trailer already. Oh. Uh, so. Okay, that's just one off scene. Um. Oh, I put my. Uh, all that, that I predict. Okay. Back to our boys in the blue sky. What's that? I thought that was a, I thought that was like a dog, but it's not. Okay, so are they wearing? Has he always worn that? Blue sky second? Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it looks about the same. As much as you can barely tell through the art of acting, I think it is just the same outfit. That's another thing I used to do a lot with trade analyses is like I've like hyper analyze the clothing they're wearing because that tells you if it's a whole different day. I could chronologicalize the entire 
chronology mostly of the Incredibles 2 based off of Mr. Incredibles shirt. So it gets more and more sweaty over time as he looks after his kids. I, I felt like a genius. That was also 2018. That was three years ago. Man, 2018 was a good year. Anyway. Okay. Ah, oh, they discover human technology and they enjoy music on with the village. Ooh, that's uh, less of the glitch, please. Why is it doing that? Ben, do you know why my my stream uh, Premiere Pro is doing that? Probably not. Wow, that's a very low pitched voice. Again. Okay. Well, well, there's your answer for that. On a segmented island with that tower, there's nothing in front of them. It's just ocean, and it kind of looks like it's its own island. Also, I guess, so this is like a day after, potentially, being in the village, because they get these pots and pans, unless pollution brought them through the water. You were just doing the stereotype for horoscope, girls? Fair enough. Don't worry, Chachaki. I made it into a new joke of, Leo means Leonard, which means not my name. <laughs> wow, they broke a bike, huh? Hey. So, oh, and they're dead. I'm trying to think like I'm trying to think where the chronology of this would be. I imagine it would story wise, if this is the first reveal, it would be before they go to the village. So it is that they've they take things from the village in secret, show the audience that they are mermen, then they go to the village for the first time properly because they want to see the, the Oh hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, you, did you see that? No one can find out. Ah no one... Cool, yeah, alright. Makes sense. So all these uh blue day elements I would imagine come first in the chronology. Doing, doing, they join the world basically. Feel they are mermen, trying to hide from fellow guys. Is this gonna be a main top point with her? Where is he? Uh, this guy, maybe. Like, cause no one believes him, but he could be like, did you see that? A kind of villain, or he just sort of goes on the. All a dream? God. What is the term for when it crosses over from another frame like that? Uh, like a cross dissolve? Like this? Where it's just like... No one... No one... Oh, no one can... Whoa, what? He had a cross... Oh, that's... Yeah, or like a fade-in. a few different words. It might be that they tried to recreate human technology since they don't understand what it means and how it works. Huh. Or like, um, yeah, and like the horoscope element, like seeing the stars and telescopes, be a whole new, like, different kind of technology that they could get into. See that? I could definitely, like, they have an interest in the human world. Just like that human, that one girl, has an interest in the universe. I'm thinking this is going to be another one of those movies that makes your mum cry. Maybe. Maybe. Like, uh, presumably they're going to get attacked by the whole village and then, like, the they, they they turn it around and then mermankind make a whole collaborative uh, community together. They help do the fishing. Uh, as, you know, it's one big species connection. Or just the two boys are except. I don't know. I don't know if there's more mermen. There's also, it is a fishing village to make it more impactful. I wonder if it will delve into, like, overfishing, pollution. Kind of a um, social commentary in a nice, idly format. I can see that. They're not a fan of fish. Well, they are a big fan of fish. I don't know. Uh, Might be that they cursed me. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Ooh, is that the? Is that their main island? It kind of looks like it could be. Like it's just a single island off in the middle of nowhere, one big slope and a tower. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Wow. There's. Oh no, there is a bit. And this, so it's now night time. Maybe this is her dad as well. Like she invited them over for dinner, and then you, they realize, oh god, scary dude, dad man. Yep, there. Well, they, yeah, there she is. Magical works out perfectly. Where did your boys say you were from? <laughs> yeah, classic. All right, I, I can. Oh, that's a red. That's an R-rated trailer coming. I really like this though, actually. The more I'm looking at it, seeing how it turns out, I. Quibble. You get to first see the couple of boys, the, uh, the out, you know, their own little island, 
refuse to expand. Where, where are their families? Come on. But then they uh, they come to the village. They're like, oh wow, this is lovely. Look at the human world. We're human. Da -da -da. They meet one girl. Seems to be a friend. They can make. Although she, he looks confident, he looks nervous. Yet he's the one that sticks around. So, and maybe it is he gets like a connection. Maybe he like. No, maybe a bit too. Well, no, it's a kids' film. It will happen all the time. Maybe she, he ends up with a crush on her and wants to be around for more. And he's like, "No, go off, do my own thing. You, you know, stay away from those dirty humans." And then, like, the crush is what keeps him going and then makes everything all dramatic and whatever. I don't know. Um, so then they spend the uh, spend the night at that dinner. Hello, Jonathan. Yo, how you doing? I'm doing. I'm enjoying. Doing a trailer analysis, I haven't done it in years because I'm too slow to a trailer to make a video on it. But yeah, they go to her house for dinner, then they go sneak out, they learn about astrology, the, un the universal. They go and see the wonderful. Maybe he's at this point like, you know, talking about how he's invested. Like, ah, leave him alone. And surprise, surprise, he doesn't. Yeah, look, there you go, that's them even looking at the stars. Him enjoying himself, you know? And then the boys, I don't know another sunset i guess that could be yeah the just before the the day before they go to the village you know it's like a day with the bro day with the not bro all hell kicks loose after that and we have day three oh um, actually you're in a shirt here aren't you in white here oh no i guess it is kind of the same maybe it's just a white. hello uh, I'd like a. The way, hello, Yod. Welcome. We are. I mean, there's not very really much sound going on. We'll just try to chronologize the whole of the Luca trailer. I think that's all there is to say. So shall we move on to a, a hard work? Very much. So this next trailer is one that I am not afraid of, but I am afraid of the actual movie. It's Mortal Kombat. You guys heard about this little thing? This this small little project? Because, uh... Oh boy! But man, I feel sick just thinking what they're going to do with Fatality. You know? We will see something again. It is Warner Brothers again. They're doing, they're doing a lot of things. You know, they've done the Snyder Cut. They've got Suicide Squad. They've got Suicide Squad. They're doing everything, man. You just don't see how they make Mortal Kombat into a good movie? I'm really optimistic. Because... Even if the plot's bad, if the action's good, that's what Mortal Kombat kind of is about, you know? The game doesn't sub zero get killed, everyone can get killed in different ways, you know. Um oh I did not register that before. I guess that's uh that like jacks in it. My computer really doesn't wanna let me interact with any of this. So he's a very good like uh kickboxer. Hmm. Chosen. I'm not good. Practice like uh, Tana, I assume. Very bad at this. Um, it like I don't I don't understand necessarily what this is. This is like I would have thought that's like Sub Zero and Scorpion before they were Sub Zero and Scorpion. But how recent is? That? I mean, I guess it kind of would be that. I don't know. I have not actually played the Mortal Kombat games, I just watched the compilations of Fatalities and I can't watch it in photorealistic mode, so I am not a, the best fan of this, I just love the concept and I'll but I'm not. Watch Happy Tree Friends just fine, even the um, Mortal Kombat game Fatalities, when it comes to live action violence, blah, I'm exactly the same, unless you're just describing me, it was inaccurate. Reference a great tournament. Reference a great tournament. Uh, Raiden vs Shang Tsung. I imagine. Um, although, aren't there two uh, like hat guys and one has a blade hat? Who's he? Because I think he makes an appearance, but I don't remember his name. I just remember Lightning God, you know? Oh. You can tell. I've always just sort of... Except the moment I put it in reverse, it was it refuses my controls. Thanks, Premiere. I've done every change I thought I can to make like this computer run more smoothly. I just can't make it work. Shang Tsung himself. Shang Tsung, uh, the guy beckoning him. This is, I assume, Scorpion before Scorpion, right? Because it's the same whipping act. Hold on. Player Jack, you don't know? Fair enough. I can watch this. 
But I imagine it might get, it could get worse. Like that's a bit, oh wow. Did you really have to freeze on those frames, computer? I haven't even, I haven't been playing for five seconds and you're giving me a, giving me an argument. Thank you for that. Ah, oh, whatever. So, okay, main characters. Is that Johnny Cage? Because I was going to say, I don't think we've seen Johnny, you can't really see it. Uh, we haven't seen, I haven't seen Johnny Cage too recognizably, but I don't know. There's our main character. There's, um, on your blade, presumably. That would be, uh, got his name. Well, yeah, and then Johnny Cage. The same ones from the, um, original, kind of. Eh, eh. There's some room, because you see a lot of other characters pop up. They show a lot of characters in this trailer. It's actually kind of surprising. I mean, right off the, here's his first appearance, if I can get the right framing. It's Kano and Sonya Blade. Classic fight. Kung Lao is the other hat guy. That's it. And then, uh, who's the main guy then? His name? I don't know. Hello, Andrix, and hello, Vibing. Thank you for the follows. Both within a minute. Two friends, or like, the, did I do something? What, what's going on? I'd love to know. I like Kano. Oh, look at that laugh. Very cool. Um, that name question itself. I find it interesting. So obviously, I know Kano mostly the 1990s Mortal Kombat movie, where he has a big old red metal eye to be like, oh, this is him. He doesn't have this. He, I guess he just has it more inside his skull. That's interesting. I, uh, I didn't think his character design was allowed to do that, unless that's before his time, but I don't think it is. It looks like the same kind of scene we see later. But I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Liu Kang, that's it. Not to be confused with Kung Lao, which is like the same thing but reversed in my head. I'm bad with names. Jax, classic, love Jax. I love the, the, like one of the really famous stream clips with one of the streamers on the site and their reactions to Jax. Good fun. Don't know who this is. Random goon? You can even see, wow, you can even see the mouse freezing on me. Gray man. Yeah, Superman's in a combat, didn't you know? Right alongside the, what was that? That's Justice League. Justice League versus C Power Rangers or whatever. I don't know. Kong Lao. Kong Lao. I, um, wow, I didn't have to ask. I could have just looked later. I'm curious to see. I don't think we see much footage of him. But he will be very interesting. You know? I remember his fatalities the most as a, when, I, when I started because obviously, dude's got a blade hat. That's crazy. I'm more looking forward to seeing like the decapitations that go. I don't want to see inner body parts. Apart from a heart. I can stomach a heart, but I can't stomach a stomach. You get what I mean? No. My mind. So like, who's even fighting? We will never- Oh, K- He's fighting Kano! Because that's his laser. Wow. I didn't think I'd get that. So, Kano's gonna fight the- beat the guy that was at the end of this trailer. Uh... Kung Lao, I was, I saw it there and I thought it's not that. Kung Lao will kill Kano. That's my prediction. Kano's gonna die, right? He died in the original, right? That dude has the British World War II, World War One helmet. Who does? Uh, are you sure about that? This tease, Bolman asks. Maybe. I mean, as a trending trailer, I gotta talk about anything trending. Classic Raiden appearing on top of a dead body, so he didn't do much, but okay. You don't want to show it to us, huh? Come on. There you go. Very cool. I appreciate that it's not a white dude anymore, like the 90s version, as much as I'm, you know, don't hate the actor. Um, nice to see them represented nicely. This is Mortal Kombat done a lot better, presumably. Let's find out. Well, you guys will. I'm not watching this, really. Ah, okay. Here's the money shot. I don't think I'm gonna be able to piece together the story here. But Raiden, Kano's on their side now. Interesting. This is the weapon of someone. Is that also Katana? Or is that um you know no, she has um that's who we saw before then. Ina's the one with like the thighs, that's what they're called. Anyway, Kung Lao, whoever the main guy's called, Art Lean or whatever, that's the new guy from the old ones, so probably not. Sonya Blade. The classic hero collection. Already six main characters. That's a juggle. Well, this is supposed to be a like a fan uh love letter to fans anyway, so I guess we can handle all the characters. Blade Hat Guy, yes. All of the characters. There's more! There's more, you just ain't seen them all. Big old laser out in the middle. Uh, 
lightning in the middle of nowhere. Wow, of course, yeah, I haven't even seen Scorpion and Thingy yet. Bung Lao and the Sunset. Why? There were so many characters there I wanted to talk about, trailer. I... I'm somewhere else now. Oh, no, I'm not. So, yes, let's get back to that, please. So I realize I, I downloaded a version of the trailer that has a logo in the corner. I apologize, I usually don't, but apparently I missed out this time. Oh, well. This is interesting, you know, Scorpion versus Sub-Zero fight. Is it actually to the death? I don't know, but they're in a Sub-Zero element, which makes me think Scorpion wins this. But underdog. Even though, sure, fire beats ice, but I mean, it's not that simple. Bung Lao in the sunset, love it. Shang Tsung. Okay, so this now is... Kung Lao, why do I keep forgetting his name? Fighting a random goon, right? I don't recognize that guy, that guy. So he beats them, fights Kano next, beats them too. Maybe he dies. That'd be pretty impressive. Like if Kano actually kills two people, it can't be. It can't be. No, they, we've seen both Kung Lao and Kano in a fight. We'll see Kano later. They can't both. One will have to win twice. So yeah. Anyway, uh, Mylena, love it. Horrifying. Uh, is that Shang? No, he's a bigger, the bigger guy. Shang Tsung, Shang Tsung. You legit just got Asian Thor? Yeah, that's kind of, you know. Anyone who, yeah, sure. I'll take it, sure. Scorpion could melt the arena, I'm sure, but then, like, there's other elements they got to deal with, you know? Yummy blood, absolutely. Here is, I didn't know if this was entirely clear, it took me a moment to recognize. Possibly our final character to recognize is Lizard. Looked absolutely horrible in the 90s version. Here he is. Yeah, it's all you get to see of him. That looks like this. Actually, I thought this would be the same scene we saw Kano in earlier, but maybe not. Either way, he's spying in on Sonya Blade and protagonist doing whatever. I assume that's Le Le that reptile, right? Oh, let me move over so actually so you can see a bit better. There he is. There's his invisibility that's coming in, right? Although it looks like a hat. So maybe it's not. That look, well, I guess Lizard would have kind of hand appendages. No, yeah, that's Lizard. It looks like he's smoking a pipe, though. Like, that's his head downwards. But whatever. Reptile's here. And Reptile, we will see again in a minute, because he, if he gets in a fight here, it's not where he ends up. Hello, Donut Dude. Hi. Gao Khan. That's his name. Shang Sun. Zhao Khan. Got it. Killed him. Uh, ah, Mylena, Sub Zero. Shang Kang Sung, Shang Sung. I'm really bad at names, but I'm getting there. He's told to kill them, uh, which is not really in keeping with the rules of combat, unless it's going to be a free for all at the end. Goro as well. In all these moments, but that's fine. Uh, wait, is that yeah? Is that Scorpion or that looks like Sub Zero coming through the portal? I thought Shang. I thought. Scorpion did that. Oh, maybe they both can. Cool. Kung Lao with his... Uh, nope. Kung Lao. The other one. Why is it? Fire powers. Cool. Bringing out the dragon. Love it. Who's that against? Is that a spear that guy's got? I can't... Uh... And you? Maybe it is a random goon, but like... Almost looks like... um Gao Khan without all his armor. Who has that weapon? If I'd recently watched like a fatality compilation, I could probably tell you who that is. I think that's Noob Cybot coming out of the portal. Oh! Wow, okay. Noob Cybot, I'm really bad at recognizing. Not only is he, you know, just kind of a reskin. I haven't, I don't think I've seen the games with him in it, or if I have, like I haven't registered. That's a whole different, isn't he though like one of? Isn't he like? Is he like a, a clone or like a son of some? Are you sure? I mean, I guess that makes sense because Scorpion's the one that teleports through like hell dimensions. Sub Zero, I don't remember doing that. Oh my god, so many characters they're juggling. Maybe it's maybe it's too overblown. He's so good at the original Mortal Kombat. I used to be really good at the Street Fighter Two. <laughs> a bit off brand. Wrong decade still. Moke. Is that the same? Is that not Noob Cybot? Like, are they not connected? I don't know. We're hyped and can finally not need the Hayabusa Katana variant to have the Katana. They added back customization to Halo 3. 
thought of that. Anyway. <laughs> um. Thank you for the artifacting on a scene we already saw in crystal clean quality. So, Goro versus Jack. Oh, no, that's not Jack. Who is that? He's got like muscled arms. Is it a goon? He is white, right? He looks kind of. Well, his face looks a lot whiter than his kind of back. Does. Anyway. Properly well created non puppets Goro. Very cool. Not very cool in the idea of him ripping off arms and then whacking them with it. It might be funny, but I will vomit projectilely. If he does, can't get into that. Oh, Solid Snake. That's Solid Snake. I never thought of that. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, still, yep. Yeah. Um, Sub Zero using his overpowered ice powers. Uh, Against a goon? Well, he's got a lot of costuming for a goon. Dude, I was just trying to do a backwards and forwards. Why do you do this to me? I'm trying to save. Like, it's been 15 minutes. Uh, also, I hadn't seen that shot properly, so it's like him. Is it him, like, first discovering he's got fire powers, maybe? I don't know. Um, Sub Zero making ice sword. Actually, that looks like the same kind of sword. The guy from earlier, right? Uh, the guy I couldn't recognize. I mean, surely that's not just Sub Zero without his uh. Maybe it is. Like, is it then? Is that a? If that is, would that be then that Sub Zero still beat Scorpion? Oh, he's got like a. Is that him? No, that's Sub Zero. Scorpion's the one with the skull head. So Scorpion was also the guy we saw earlier, right? So oh, isn't there a canon where he's got a brother or there's a hex on the... Man, I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know these. Go time. Uh, have I... Cool. I bought... Right, moving along. Yep, Sub-Zero vs. Scorpion again. The same fight from before. I'm not really going to be able to put these in chronological order. It's just a series of fights anyway. I, I guess I'm doing enough with the Kano... Uh, his fights. Very nice. I, I remember a point here, so obviously, you know, Mr. Hot and Mr. Cold are in a fight, as they do. So, uh, cool. Turning blood into weapons. Very cool. Very uh, overpowered in his ice powers, yada yada. I have a question. Ooh. Ooh, I've heard people saying that's pretty good. Yeah. I think I disagree. I hear that again. That's not my question. My question is... And it kind of mushes over. Who's that guy? Actually, that just looks like the protagonist, now I realise it. But like, what's he doing in the middle of this fight? Is it a matter of he was fighting Scorpion? Uh, was fighting Sub-Zero, then Scorpion shows up, and then they get in a fight afterwards? Because they're not in the arena anymore. What's going on? So Sub-Zero is just a waterbender. Absolutely, yeah. And then a uh, Scorpio, Scorpion is like a hell demon spawn. And then, um, you know, um, not Kung Lao, Kung, other guys, Firebender. Scorpion doesn't have fire powers, does he? He has whip and teleportating hell, I think. Get a, it sounds like get a load of here. Anyway. Is there more? There you go. Oh, oh, oh okay, actually, I, look, I think I just saw something gory, but we're gonna zoom into it anyway. So, fucking one. So he calls for, you know, kill them or something. Thank you, Film Select, for your bro. Ah! Oh, hello! So it is Jax he's against. He just had a very white looking head earlier. It is again. Oh, though, actually, is that Goro? I thought that was Goro. Yeah, it's Goro's hair. He looks like a dude. Supposed to recognize that? Not sure if he's able to control water or just make ice. Yeah, he makes ice. He is a ice guy. He can turn water into ice. Um, so this is a big. Oh, hey, it's a death! I just realized. There's a big old hole in that guy's intestines. 
Sonya Blade kills... Is that Kano? Oh, like a... That's a lot of blood coming out. That's like a comedic level of blood coming out. I gotta say. Well, anyway, with a hole in his intestines, I don't know how... Or her intestines. I don't know how blood's coming out from the front of her body and not like down here. Man, it's actually kind of nice to look at Gore when you're pausing it. All right. Well, in a double fight against those two, is that Mylena? Have we just spoiled Mylena's death? No! I like Mylena. Melina? My Mylena. How, where is this blood going? Like, it's behind her here. It's, but it splatters all the way out here? Interesting. Well, that's gory. A lot of, uh, a lot of content for Sub-Zero to freeze over, at least. Yeah, stabbing a guy in the head. A fight against Sonya Blade and Malina before she dies pretty early. Lizard! In a whole different scene to how we saw him before. He's the one that Kano beats in a fight. Oz, the one that ends up with the heart scene you've probably already seen at the end. Why is it pink? Looks pretty... I mean, I'm colorblind, so I would think that's... Actually, that does look pretty pink. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And then, yeah, he does a... That's a good... That's a, that's a fatality I can watch. Because it's stabbing through a CGI guy, and you don't see anything. And the other one, I guess, not bad. You do see a brief hole, which you kind of see in things. A, lot, a bit excessive blood, but like, I'm not scared of blood. I just don't want to see body parts. I don't want to see intestines. Now, I'm glad that the intestines there got evaporated or whatever. But then again, change for the trailer. Maybe in the real thing, you'll see it like... I don't know. The possibility horrifies me. Kano wins. You fucking beauty. That's... Kano so far is my favourite because I love the voice and acting on him, you know? Kano wins. Oh, beautiful. Is he got... So, him... Kano have a robotic hand? Is that his thing? He has a very thin-looking... Anyway, that's that's all there is there, at least. Like... Yeah, right? Or is it just that covered in blood? Oh, that could just be that covered in blood. It's very interesting. I like that a lot. Um, But yeah. That's the Mortal Kombat trait. There isn't much to see in chronological order, but like... That's all the characters. So there was... Kano and Lizard... Mylena, um, oh no, the characters I don't remember, Kung Lao, and then Din Khan, the other way around, whatever it was, Shang Tsung, um, Gao Khan, is at least in uh, statue form, new protagonist, Sonya Blade, did Johnny Cage or anything? It wasn't Johnny Cage. Um, Raiden, did I say Kung Lao? Oh, maybe I did. Um, and then... Who else exists? Jax, that's 11 already. Um, Goro, a couple of goons. Scorpion Sub-Zero, 14? There's, there's so many more, you know? In nine days? This comes out? Yes. In nine... Really? Wait, is that soon? I guess it would be, yeah. Uh, no, it got delayed. It got delayed a week. So it's not nine days away. It is... 15. Sorry. Um... Also, oh yeah, so also, I don't know if I get an opportunity to see this on HBO, HBO Max and cinemas. Um, we do have a bunch of things opening in the UK on the 12th. <gasps> I don't know if cinemas is one of them. Either way, I'm not going. I have asthma. I have a susceptibility that I don't want to risk. You know? I've, got a, I've got a couple of friends who are like, you, you're too cautious around this uh, pandemic thing. You can come out and hang out with us at six feet apart with a mask on outside and we'll even take a COVID test. And I'm like... Yeah, I also like having the indoors. It's an excuse for me to be in introverted. Yeah, asthma. Our mums didn't go and sniff pollen in their pregnancy phases, and so now here we are with a susceptibility to have a bad lungs. Anyway, um, that's enough of the model comment. Let's move on to something else. I haven't. I've said earlier in the stream that I haven't gotten into. The uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Just because 50, hour, uh, 50 hours, 50 minutes long per episode, that's a lot. And on top of that, um, I just, I don't know. It's a bit more generically Marvel at the moment. Well, I, I, I mean, I've only seen one. Hasn't hooked me yet. I'll get around to it when I find the time for it. But I am interested in the other Marvel TV shows now. One that is 
Next is a trailer I haven't seen because it just came out. It's Loki. Trailer 2. Let's see where this turns out. And then we'll go back and uh, analyze it. I mean, I can hear it, but it's not playing. Oh, it is playing. Okay. If it freezes or auto artifacts, I'm sorry. Ah, he's in places. imprisoned for the uh, cube. For the space the war. Tesseract. In, in court. He's... Makes you sound super oh! Cool. I am smart. I that looks like okay. Tony Stark's father, right? I'll be. Then, hmm. Cats in the MCU are pretty scary. Captain Marvel's anything. Oh. This is absurd. <laughs> Sign this too. All right, a nice comedy kind of crime drama. I can absolutely get behind it. So it's like the commission from uh, Umbrella Academy. Reality. Ah, yeah, How yeah. You'd help us fix it. Ah, cool. Money. I need your unique Loki perspective. Timeline, timeline, wishy washy yeah. stuff. Owen Wilson? Oh, wow. Oh. Really? You really believe in this <laughs> Loki period? He believes in himself enough for the both of us. Oh, I see it. Wow, he's he's aged since the memes. He's <laughs> adorable that you think you could possibly manipulate me. And then they do. In a blockbuster? I need to I've got there are so many shots I can go through. I'll give it a go. Nice and colourful. I appreciate that. literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times <laughs> yeah why never do it again oh that looked like a kind of black widow death scene kind of vibe is what i was getting cool i like it like just playing around with the ips they've got i much as like we were just bashing on warner brothers a moment ago i find it when it's guys uh this is the original loki trailer so and combat trailer. A nice like screenshot. Uh there you go. Nice and yeah, dramatically blue. I can once again. There it is. Go in the background. In the meantime, hi. Listen to me for a moment a bit more while I let this process. Um I'm a lot more invested into Loki than I am at Falcon and the Winter Soldier at the moment. I'm sure when I watch it I'll get more involved, but man. Tom Hilston, you know, big fan, big. Th I mean, the reason he's even got his own series is because he's so popular. Even when he's dead, you bring him back to life. You know, gotta gotta work with the fans and work with what you got. You know, Italian, hello, welcome. We were just going through the Loki trailer. Well, we're about to. I can't believe it. it cuts up the entire trailer into shots automatically. That's fantastic. Look at all this. All right. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to put this in chronological order because this is an entire TV show and the whole concept is they're jumping place to place constantly. But I'm gonna try my best to see what's going on. You see two Dazzes, this is love, absolutely. Absolutely, I mean, if you, if I merge it enough, you might just be able to see three. Oh no. Oh yes, my mic's in the way, but there you go. And an, inf an infinite amount of me are there in the distance, ha <laughs> ha. Also, it's just because the background looks more interesting. Me. Okay. Oh, right. We are making our way through these trailers. We're not always going to be going through so many trailers each week, because you know, if I'm doing this every week, there'll be less trailers to do. But, uh, hey, extended movie. So, Loki. Everything's functional now. Obviously, starting off, he gets immediately taken to court, I guess. He's even in the same outfit, yeah, for having the Tesseract. There's just the commission, I guess, around in the MCU. Hello, Jalopy. Thank you. Hello. Why am I still not hearing uh, the the sounds of it? Oh, I haven't got an alert box on. If you'd done that while I was full screen, I would have heard something. I didn't this time. There you go. An alert box is now added. Plonk it down in this corner. You can't see that, but it's there. What a room tour! Like ninety percent of the room, you know, like 
Yeah, I've got a Bulbasaur in the background, if you look, if you squint. And a seal. PlayStation 5 controller. And a scene that doesn't want to transition to full clock. There it goes. There you go, like this is most, this is the room. Left is a bunch of wet clothes because I did some laundry. And some shelving. And a Christmas tree I haven't put away. Did you see that earlier? I've got a Christmas tree up. It's April. I'm very on, uh, <laughs> Anyway, there you go. That background triggers you. It's just my face. Time's over. That way. Anyway, um, what's going on in Loki? So, they're taken away. They're put into a. Uh, get to see the whole commission. It's a uh, very cultish with its leaders. All right, sure. A fancy spinning elevator scene. All right, sure. Court, <laughs> more court. It's the whole the whole first episode. Just very investing. As long as they're funny. So what? Did he teleport? Did he get dropped down? How does he end? Like, why is he surprised in the middle of the room here? Can you play Premiere Pro? No, you had to freeze and save. Oh, and he's got, he's got a, uh... I guess it'll explode if he does something wrong. That's great. Big metaphor guy. I love it. Make super and that is Owen Wilson. I thought it was... I thought it was Howard Stark, but it ain't, is it? Maybe it's a tube? Yeah, I can see, like, it drops in. Uh, oh! The background of the start triggers you. Gotcha. You care more about the seal plot? Very nice. I appreciate it. Again, feel about my background. Make it smart. nice. I am smart. I know. Okay. Okay. Right. So, yep, they have an interview. Yeah, okay. That could be where it drops from, though. Dropped him in another elevator for a meeting. Keyboard on the left, I guess. Scary cat. It only scares me. Oh, I, I just realized the transcript, I think he says it. it actually says this is absurd at the end. Nice. He said it at the top. Very cool. <laughs> so I have a habit, I realize this one. I have a habit of mashing control S all the time because, you know, one of my editing days, it's a good habit to do. Every time I do, it freezes everything. It still feels if I try and play things normally, but, oh, okay. More court. We learn the world. They're stuck doing time. Where's A113? No. Anyway, uh, they go through several TBA is probably the name of the thing. I don't know what. And so, but right, footage of everything. There's the timeline splitting. Fantastic to think. Much. Look at those last two are going to connect. Who knows? How do you think this Loki will handle when Thanos eventually arrives in his universe? I don't think he will. There is no Thanos, right? In his. Oh, I get. <laughs> They're not going to play it again. Done. We don't need more Thanos. It's over. We don't need to just because there's timeline stuff doesn't mean we need to play the same arcs again and again. It's also like saying, oh, what? Do you, how do you think he'd react to the events of Ant-Man 2 that'll happen in this timeline? Who cares? Ant-Man 2's over. So there isn't going to be one. So okay, this is where they come into the real world. They just walk through a doorway, huh? Okay, and they can they just think. Keep their outfits, they don't even don't even transition to anything. Into a little festival. Okay. Nice. For one frame, and then it's gone. Kind of. Alright. Moving on. Phone's beeping at me, but that's fine. Eleventh? No, that's not food. Black Widow. Anyway. Um Rock's cart. Not recognize that, but okay. They're going to investigate. They've just come from their little portal. The fighter guy is it actually fighting him? You really believe in this Loki variant? Or Loki variant? Yeah, I'll reach it. Sure. Um, a lot of this is gonna go over my head, but I'm trying my best. So then, they also end up in an apocalyptic tower. Is that the Avengers Tower? Ooh, that could be spicy. That's a spicy episode four right there. Luckily, he believes in himself enough. Or they just drop him in there. Episode one says you're gonna change this. This doesn't happen in this timeline. For the both. But then, like, what are they doing in the meantime? I don't want to know what it is. Yo, it is? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow, he's actually going to fight them. That looks pretty connected to me. Goes against them. Maybe for episode one, it is him trying to escape, and then he's, you know, kicked down, lost. They put the proper neck thing on him again, and then episode two, he does what they command. I guess. So, okay, this scene. Who is he up against? He's still in his variant gear. 
I get some... Does that say something on his wrist? Not really. Okay. Get some Power Rangers. Sure. All right. Can we uh, see a frame after? Oh, actually, that's an interesting thing. It's probably not, right? No, they keep they keep it. I was going to say, um, like, Guardians of the Galaxy skips the punches on their frames. I was wondering if it was going to show a hit. It kicks and, you know, immediately moves on, but sure. All right. <laughs> All right. Love it. Kicks a guy out. Okay. Ooh. Looking at here. Purple. Purple means... Uh, what one is that? Is that power? Is that space? Maybe it's not an infinite zone. Either way, like this makes me think the Thor hammer for the first time, but probably not. In fact, actually, it's a meteor shower. What is... It's, it's a new thing, is what it is. Um, who knows what's landing? Can we see? Not really. Okay. Interesting. Cree? I think these are Cree? You can't already tell, can you? No, not really. Um, more. All right, cool. All right, I'm sorry I pressed play. This is him. See that outfit. Manipulate me. Oh my God! Please, Premier Pro, be more functional. All right, so this is him in darker gear, being taken away again. Yeah, it looks like kind of like a. Reminds me of the the witch trial era from WandaVision. That'll be an interesting probably not because it's on the timeline. Is this him when he first tries to escape and then gets looped back around? I don't know. Can't tell by his outfit. Here's another day of him again at a portal by the same purple rocks. More purple from that vibe. Taken off his jacket and see the difference. Same day. Alright, but then he Oh, he's coming out of it. Try and play. Back to exposition days with Owen Wilson. Oh, hello. Helpful. Manipulate me. All right. Thank you, trailer, for. Oh, that time my whole Premier Pro just went white and said, wait. So I was thinking, was this blockbuster? But it could just be a uh, rocks car. But the alien guy from Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh. Colors in Yeah, I guess they're. There's a lot of colored palette. Um, wait, that would mean that the reason it's so purple is because Guardians of the Galaxy is based off the same Infinity Stone, right? The Power Stone. So, purple then. That's why there was that kind of color palette. It was connected. I think. Um, cool. Yeah. Dell advertising, of course. Aid product placement. Sure. Um, yeah. That's so what? He goes on the attack. Kills guy. And Owen Wilson's after him, so he does actually like kind of escape. This is the meteorite shower. Cool. It's of a moon exploding above them. How can you do that? Timeline junk. Did the it was it the meteor shower that broke the Avengers? Never know. Back to Asgard for a brief moment. Probably just a dream anyway. Uh ooh. What has he got on his back? Is that a oh it's probably a sword. Army gun, but is that him? It's another cracked land, so again, might be like a dream. Spider-Man's kind of horror scene. His hammer had the purple stone. It did. It did it? No, it didn't. Right, it was in a it was in a ball. Thanos and Ronin could be after him. In Think so? I I don't know if they'll do the Thanos plotline again though. Maybe Ronan. That makes sense. Um. That's complete. Because also this start if this is like twelve timeline they come back to. I could be very wrong. I don't know. Another spinning shot because that's just the way these days go. Oh, militarized police weapons fighting each other. Okay. Inter. Uh, Premier Pro really doesn't want to play things. Anymore. And then when he's teamed up with a bunch of bad guys, yeah, they go against him. Surprise, surprise. In his kind of suit, feeling like a god because he's got on a presidential badge and his own gear again. Interesting. Right, I don't know what to take. The a fighter. All right, back to these guys. So, what you think this is like the Ronin time, or like that his kind of goons? I like, yeah, something's going. I can't. Probably its own dedicated episode or something that we're not going to be able to see the villain of. Just sure, neon-y location that kind of reminds me of a Guardian of the Galaxy kind of hub. Tom Hiddleston looking more like Tom Hiddleston than Loki. Something with the air hostess, sure, sure. 
Is that it? Oh no, and then. Oh, that's way more, excuse me. Yeah, though. I think it will mostly be hired Loki to take down other Lokis across the multiverse. Really? He's got to take out other Lokis? That's a crazy idea. Is there is there evidence for that? They're like, what connects that? Recommend song Kang the Con. Then out for that. I can totally see that. It it has got the same kind of Guardians vibe. Isn't it? Light hearted, comedic. Could go anywhere in space and time because of the Thorish element of the MCU. I don't know. Okay, so then yeah, he prepares. He's in a fight with completely um. Yeah, pretty different goons in hoods and rope. They almost just look like normal humans, like a soldier from the past, but I doubt he's going into the past with a weird X looking symbol in the back. Okay. Here's another apocalypse he gets to witness because he always has to see horrors in his life. The same day that he's got the thing on his back entering that cracked land. Uh, back to it. There's a point where he's walking and he's got something on the back, right? Oh, there are a lot of clips in this. Could be the same kind of day as that. That looks connected. Uh, is that clip? There, yeah. Going into Crackland, he also has that on his back now. Weaponized. I guess. Sure. Alright. Being a twister, he's about to end up in Wizard of Oz. Like, Space Jam 2. Need a Guardians of the Galaxy 3? They're making it. It's probably going to be coming along. President Loki looks a lot different to this. Oh. Really? Back on that. Better at analyzing than I am, but hey, I'm just kind of taking things in. Um, to be fair, Tom Hiddleston airline pilot does look different. Does he look that different? I guess yeah, he's, he's still got the suit, though. He's still got the shirt, at least. Compared to... Kind of Loki. Ah. Uh. Maybe. Yeah. I kind of see that. Because actually, yeah, like this also. Different. I like that. Hmm. Multiverse of Loki. Okay. I am starting to lean that way. Was it Doctor, Tra Doctor Strange's travel portal? I don't know much that much of Marvel. Uh, no. It would have been this commission's, like, portal. They kind of establish in, like, a, a doorway that you just sort of go through. That female that looks like Black Widow is apparently a Loki. Oh, really? Interesting. Uh, not her. But wherever the other one is. In? What is she using a knife? Cause what her? Well, that's not. There. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Introducing um some like a uh, gender swap. Here would make sense for the, one of the later things they do because they want to do a. Or am I thinking DC? I might be thinking DC. I can't remember. Yeah, okay. What is this then? This is okay, the meteorite planet, which I guess is just cursed that way for a while. Or do you mean this Black Widow looking lady is. I mean, they look. They have, they, they have got a symmetry going on. Interesting. Yeah, her. That is female Loki. Wow. This a. Uh, we found this somewhere? Have other people done this analysis then? Is this like a, or is this like connected to rumors and like what we know of this so far? That's really interesting. I would have thought like they'd give the same black hair, you know? I mean, I guess, so sure, siblings can have different colored hair, but I wouldn't have jumped to that conclusion straight away. That is subtle. Other videos, I found this out. I've found this out. Interesting. That's really interesting. Okay. I'm even more invested now to see like a multiverse of actual different Lokis doing things. I thought it was just Loki does time cop across and shoot. If it's actually him fighting himself, then that's pretty cool. Wonder how these guys are gonna Oh, hello. So what the whole this is the cracked environment. That's not Lo well, maybe that's female Loki. Yeah, because he's got a knife. Okay, maybe I'm seeing the evidence come together. Here's a comedic bit of Loki then what Pompeii or something. Right, and then at the end of no, still more. My god, this is a meaty trailer. No, it's not. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna skim through the original because I want to see the original. Like maybe it does connect here. 
Yeah, right. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Might be where he hires the goons. He ends up in the commission, essentially. The uh, freezers. Two. Press save that time. I think there might be a leak or casting thing. Ah, I see. Yeah, so hunted in the witch environment. Okay. Which is where he's knocked out and taken through the portal earlier. I don't remember the fog, but okay. Secret other Loki. Ooh, who's that? No idea. No idea who that is. Okay. Ooh, horrifying. Um, that Loki does look... Um, I assume that's day one Loki. Yeah, he just... He does look different. His hair makes you think different. Put into court. He ain't happy about it. Back to those three. The TVA. Ooh. Ooh, a whole... Whole uh, epidemic on his life, of course. Uh, oh, he looks like Joker there. Um, going through... Ah, oh, that's, the, that's the elevator he dropped into. Okay. I have seen people going into the saying this is Mephisto because there is the devil there, but that could be a lie in the trailer. I have a whole TikTok series can't believe I just, about lies in the Marvel trailers, how they try and throw you off the scent. So there's very like, you know, possible things throwing off the scent here. What's he doing? What's he Owen Wilson suggesting? Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, I've gone really far behind, but that's fine. He doesn't say anything. Awesome. And then yeah, he goes attacks. There's the meteorite land. Oh, ooh. So now this is her slightly different angle, without Loki. Interesting. Okay, maybe that's when he like at the end or fake trailer. There's one with him and one without. So maybe one of those are fake. Hmm? Um, maybe it's even trying to lean you into think that it is a female version of him, so that you see the symmetry and think, ah, there's a connection here when actually there isn't. Uh, airplane with a mountain, which is where airline, he looks completely different. That's got to be an alternative Loki then. Right? That makes sense to me. Surely. And then, meteorite room, he's ru is he running away in that same place? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, trying to get into the generator, the, the room that won't kill him. Getting in a fight in, not Blockbuster, Rock's Cart. A romantic esh I'm in what looks like kind of the Pompeii-ish area. Big guy fight that is his goons that goes against him later. More fights with... Oh, we already saw this fight. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. I haven't seen the shredder since it came out, so... Whatever. Flying through the airplane. But then be dropped. Okay, and then he gets teleported away with money. And that's our Loki. Hmm. Interesting. Clearly, I don't know entirely what I'm talking about. <laughs> But, I mean, I'm invested. This hooks me a lot more because it's a little bit different and it isn't, like, necessarily the sitcom element. It's just, just nice to see the MCU hanging around with their, like, ideas, you know? I think that, uh, I'm curious to see how this turns out. And I'm sure I'll, I mean, maybe not with Loki necessarily, but it'll be interesting to look back on these and be like, did I get anything right? Did I get the chronology on this right at all? Loki could be anywhere there. This is, um... You know, if this is like 10 episodes again and half an hour each, that's five hours of chronology to try and pitch together, which is not going to be easy, not going to be correct. So we do what we can. So let's move on. Um, now, I've got a lot of trailers I just haven't seen, huh? This is Ella, which I also watched once when it came out and didn't pay much attention to. This is the one that came out today. So I hope trailers always drop a lot. Okay, because then I can go through this. Cruella as well, I am not too invested in, I'll be honest. Uh, I've seen a lot of people give hate to this because, like, why Why have they turned Cruella, a, a character who literally likes to skin dogs, into a relatable protagonist? But I'll give it a watch, at least, and see what it does for us. Yeah. Let me give you some advice. You can't. What do you guys think of Cruella? Everyone else is an obstacle. You care what an obstacle wants or feels. Is that Cruella? No. That's her, right? Yeah, okay. Good. Ah. You have the talent. Uh, it's Emma Stone, ain't it? You have the killer instinct is the big question. So the villain actually had other villains the whole time, huh? Okay. I like that. I like the black and red. It's foolish. Unhinged. 
Why are you speaking? I think you've licked me. But there's something about poetic justice that's just so poetic. So, are we gonna get another film of her boss in like 20 years time? Hold on. Did fire just change her? Oh no, okay. I was gonna say, fire doesn't give you like a hair dye. You know, it just burns it off, but alright. This doesn't have to be a scene. It really, really does. Oh, now she's. So now she's a pro at close combat, close quarters combat. All right, and also reminds me of the Joker in the scene in a Dark Knight. The entire movie oozes the word darling. That I don't know. This Cruella movie is giving 102 Dalmatian vibes for some strange reason. I mean, it is. All right, so it wouldn't do that. For Cruella, I do hope they keep her the bad guy. She is not turn her into the good guy. What was your name? I guess she's like an anti-hero. Anti-hero. Come on, trailer, I just paused you. I want to make trouble. You in? I do love trouble. I can see it being like a mini icon for fashion, I guess, you know, in its way. Which I guess is the point, yeah, she's all about fashion. But they've turned an element more into it. Uh-oh. My dogs. Her dogs. All right. So when the dogs are belonging not to a nice piece of family, but bad villain, it's okay to take their dogs and skin them. That's what Disney's. Eat, right? Yes, you must hate her. She has made it me or her, and I choose me. I mean, can I not get like the dog's opinion on all this? There's lots more bad. Again, Disney Plus. I mean, if it worked for the last few, I guess they can do it for more. That additional fee required. I don't know if I want to. I'm not going to actually review this. Buy it. Additional content. Maybe I'm jumping on the bandwagon. But like, but it'll just like in this. Like, I need to watch Dalmatians, uh, Dalmatians again. Because, like, I don't remember a scene like this. Hold on. One hit? <laughs> Leave it. Don't trust it. You know? Less convinced. Let's um quick watch. So we'll... Again, like that. Actually, hold on. I just want to watch the logo. Pro will agree. Did they change it? Is it still black and white? Different grayscaling techniques? Yes, it is. That's completely inverted opposed to this one. Interesting. That You see that joke? Yeah. Huh. Right, anyway. Ah, what a lovely city. <laughs> it's a world of opportunity. And now she's a... meant for more in this life. Yeah, okay. Same kind of trying to rise against revenge story. Oh good, I'm glad I'm skipping through this because the uh, this is kind of copyrighted. I didn't hear anything of that before. Okay. Yeah. The This year is 101 Dalmatians 60th anniversary. Disney aired this show. Quite terrifying. Oh really? What, they, what happened? I'd love to know. I'm less convinced. Watch this. No, I maybe it'll become a cult classic. Emma Stone. No, I appreciate all the characters and the people involved in this, but I don't know if I'm invested enough. You know, I don't know if people will be interested in a movie review about Cruella. But then again, it is a bad film. I'd love to hear about how bad it is. Quite well. I don't know. We'll have to see. Like I'm. Even trying to pitch together like the chronology of this, it looks pretty simple, you know. He was 
was stepped on until she wasn't. And she rose up, became all powerful, and I. What? Oh, and then the next story point is she steals the dogs. Then. Or like she loses the dogs, wins over the boss. Does the boss die? Like, what's the red end? It scares you. Yeah, sorry. Dog zank. Move on from you. Actually, at this point, I try something new. So that that was a long segment. We are it is half past ten. It's been two and a half hours of just movie stuff. That's that's a lot going on, you know? So instead, we are now...